In today's show, is $40,000 Bitcoin the new 10K? Will Bitcoin hold $43,000 support as exchange Bitfinex halts trading? In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis. As you can see in this announcement from Bitfinex, we have temporarily halted trading. And as Cole Gardner points out, last time we saw bids this thick, Bitcoin was at ten thousand dollars we'll also be checking out the latest from plan b creator of the bitcoin stock the flow model also breaking news missouri's mayor has funded a project to give a thousand dollars in bitcoin to every household max kaiser's response as predicted it was much more likely politicians would scramble to get on bitcoin's good side than trying to ban it also in today's show canada gets its first bitcoin and ethereum multi-crypto etf that's right the united states falls further behind its northern neighbors on crypto acceptance canada just approved its first combined Bitcoin plus Ethereum trading fund. Also in today's show, Bitcoin overdue for a big FOMO rally, according to crypto veteran Bobby Lee. That's right. In a new interview with Bloomberg, he goes on to share, I am very bullish on Bitcoin, especially for an end of year rally, a FOMO rally this year. So I expect Bitcoin prices to break out again in the next few weeks and months. And he goes on to share, I think it'll easily go over $100,000. And then depending upon how sharp the rally is, it'll also likely even touch $200,000 or even go above that. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the alts are back in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 50,000 subs. If you like earning money in cryptocurrency, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this now let's talk about some crypto iras today's show is brought to you by itrust capital the world's largest crypto ira platform with over two billion dollars in transactions with itrust not only can you buy sell and trade crypto tax-free but also precious metals as well such as physical gold and silver so you can trade 24 7 and there are no hidden fees and everything is very transparent and here you can see the cryptocurrencies you can currently trade which include bitcoin ethereum cardano Chainlink, Polkadot, as well as other top cryptos. And a reminder, you can also trade physical gold and silver via digital ownership. iTrust Capital utilizes vault chain investment grade gold and silver held physically at the Royal Canadian Mint with ownership managed via a secure blockchain distributed ledger. And the thing that I really like is the fact they have institutional custody by Coinbase, the world's leading institutional cold storage provider, backed by a $320 million insurance policy. So you can have peace of mind knowing your digital assets are safe and secure to take advantage of this go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below and as a bonus you'll receive your first month absolutely free so what are you waiting for click the link right down below and let's start stacking them sats tax-free all right welcome back to another episode of crypto news alerts i'm your host jv how's it going crypto fam holla at your boy in the live chat bitcoin erased overnight gains this morning on september 30th as sudden problems at major exchange bitfinex caused a mass outage and right here you're looking at the bitcoin one hour candle chart data from coin telegraph markets pro and trading view showed bitcoin losing the forty-three thousand dollar level following the news after hitting local highs above forty-three thousand eight hundred on bitstamp now with the source of the issue unknown at the time of this recording traders were left in the dark as an already sensitive crypto market fell back towards established support as Bitfinex shared here on Twitter we are investigating issues with the platform and have to temporarily halt trading we will keep everyone updated on here and our status page as we know more we apologize for the inconvenience Tuesday has seen fellow exchange Binance the largest by volume in the world suspend trading for two hours as a part of a scheduled maintenance this having no significant impact on the Bitcoin price action and with Thursday already set to be a charged day However, Bitcoin looks set to close out September almost exactly as predicted by Plan B's worst case scenario price of 43000 As he shared three months ago here on crypto Twitter, he says, there is also more fundamental reason that we see weakness in June and possibly July. My worst case scenario for 2021 based on on-chain metrics is August. 47,000, which was right on the money. Now, September, which we close at the end of today, he says 43,000, which looks like to be once again right on the money. Next month, he predicts 63,000, November 98,000, and December 100. 
and 35,000. Now I remind you, this is worst case scenarios based on on-chain metrics. And for fellow trader and analyst Rec Capital, meanwhile reiterated the need for Bitcoin to reclaim its 21 week exponential moving average level by the end of Sunday to preserve the overall bullish momentum. As he shows here on crypto Twitter, Bitcoin is very close to reclaiming the 21 week EMA as support. There are still a few days left until the weekly close for this important reclaim. That said, Bitcoin is still just below the 21 week EMA. Bitcoin needs to reclaim this EMA 43,500 to build bullish momentum, as you can see right here in this chart. Now let's talk about a $40,000 Bitcoin price acting as the new 10,000. Despite lackluster price action, the odds remain for a dramatic return to form in the coming weeks and months with comparisons to the same period in 2020. The latest was from Cole Garner, who noted that the large block of buyer support just below $40,000 was reminiscent of the order book setups when Bitcoin was trading at 10,000 September of last year. As he shares here on crypto Twitter, last time we saw bids this thick, Bitcoin was at $10,000. And checking out the most recent tweets from Plan B, he shared, to be clear, worst case slash floor model is not, I repeat, not based on stock to flow. It is based on price and on-chain data, like I wrote in that June 20th tweet, which I shared with you a little earlier. So great that August closed above 47,000 and September is now around 43,000, but it says nothing about stock to flow. Stock to flow says $100,000 now. That's right. And he also shared this tweet yesterday, what will trigger the next leg of the Bitcoin bull market an ETF approval by the SEC. He's talking about a Bitcoin ETF being approved in the United States. Nation adoption, the next El Salvador, Lightning Network slash Strike Surprise, Jack Maulers, Apple slash Amazon slash Google, mainstream adoption, RSK Killer Use Case, Blockstream, next Michael Saylor slash Paul Tudor Jones, and even a China U-turn. Let me know which you feel will likely spark the next leg of this Bitcoin bull run. And before I break down our next breaking story of the day, Missouri's mayor has funded a project to give $1,000 in Bitcoin to every household, as well as Canada gets its first Bitcoin and Ethereum multi-crypto ETF, as well as Bitcoin is overdue for a big FOMO rally, according to crypto veteran Bobby Lee. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin is up 2.6% for the day, trading above $43,200. We have Ether up 2.2%, trading just under that $3,000 resistance. XRP up 2.6%, trading at $0.94. Cents. ADA, Cardano, Solana, and Polkadot all barely in the red, while Binance, Coin, and Chainlink are back in the green. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Missouri's Mayor Jason Stewart plans to give every household in Cool Valley $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Now, Cool Valley, Missouri is a small town in the St. Louis County area, has about 1,500 residents. Jason Stewart told Bitcoin Magazine in an interview that Bitcoin has given me a new way of thinking about humanity in the future. He continued, it's given me a hope and an optimism that we can overcome some of the worst parts of the system that we were born into and actually create a future exactly how we want it to be. There is a certain level of hope and optimism that I get from Bitcoin. If Bitcoin provides you with hope and optimism, let me know in the comments below. It definitely provides me with the same. Now, initially, Stewart planned to raise enough money to airdrop just $500 to every household in Cool Valley. However, his announcement drew attention and additional funds from across the nation, as he originally shared here on crypto Twitter. This was dated back August 20th. I would like to see every single household in my city receive some level of Bitcoin, whether it be $500 or $1,000. And as of right now, the project is fully funded for thousand dollars per household, Stewart told Cointelegraph, adding that the town has exceeded its donation goals because the story got so popular in a way that I never anticipated. The mayor plans to use the additional donations received to explore energy efficient initiatives in Cool Valley. And during his interview with Bitcoin Magazine, Stewart described the hurdles of putting Bitcoin on the town's reserve and how this shifted his priority to solving the logistics of educating and giving 1,500 residential households access to Bitcoin. And clearly for the mayor, the most important part of his donation is ensuring that the Bitcoin is donated in a service of social change and improving Cool Valley while uplifting people along the way. Now, the distribution logistics of the Bitcoin airdrop are not yet fully finalized, Stewart told Cointelegraph. His plan is to first organize educational workshops for residents to learn about what they will be receiving. Quoting him here, we're going to get people storing their own Bitcoin as quickly as possible, the mayor said. In an exemplary display of the low time preference understanding, Mayor Stewart is also planning to allow citizens to receive a larger Bitcoin payout if they choose to hold their Bitcoin for a certain length of time. And of course, they could also sell it and receive their allotted sat 
stats to do so. Mayor Stewart has also recently joined the advisory board of the Midwest Bank Center, which is a local bank with nearly $2 billion in assets under management. Soon he hopes to see a Bitcoin-friendly bank in town, as well as other attractive Bitcoin business opportunities, such as mining facilities and events. Now, Stewart told Bitcoin Magazine, Bitcoin is fundamentally American. It is the most American thing. Our government is built on freedom and personal liberty and rights and self-sovereignty and all of the things that Bitcoin really is. I think it's a natural marriage that Bitcoin and America will thrive. So there you have it. And before I break down our next story of the day, Canada gets its first Bitcoin and Ethereum multi-crypto ETF, as well as Bitcoin is overdue for a big FOMO rally, according to crypto veteran Bobby Lee. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just under that $1.9 trillion mark with $94 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is 42.8%, with the Ether dominance at 18%. 0.4%. And checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have OMG Network up 16%, trading at $11.76. Axie Infinity up almost 9%, trading just above 77 bucks. And Zillica up 8%, trading at 8.6 cents. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 20 out of 100 in extreme fear. Yesterday was a 24, last week a 27, and last month a 73 in greed. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. As announced this week from Evolve ETF site, the new fund has already begun trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange under ticker symbols ETC and ETC. You. ETC will not be backed by Bitcoin or Ethereum directly. Rather, it will hold shares of Evolve ETF's existing crypto single funds. These include their Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs, EBIT and ETHR, respectively. Their balance of each token will be based on Bitcoin and Ethereum's market capitalization weightings, which will be rebalanced monthly. And right now, their weightings should be roughly one-third Ethereum and two-thirds Bitcoin and Raj Lala, president and CEO of Evolve's ETFs, outline why he sees these two particular crypto assets as valuable. Quoting him here, Bitcoin has established itself as a store of value and is often referred to as digital gold. Ether is often regarded to as digital oil and has become an essential building block for digital finance, including NFTs and other decentralized finance applications. The new ETF will help provide diversification for investors having trouble choosing between Bitcoin and Ethereum. And additionally, the Royal Bank of Canada users can include ETC in their tax-free savings account, allowing them to profit from Bitcoin and Ethereum without paying capital gains. And while Canada achieves yet another milestone in approving its first multi-crypto ETF, the United States is yet to greenlight any digital asset ETF at all. Companies like Fidelity have been pleading with the SEC for permission to launch such a product. However, Chairman Gary Gensler has been slow to give any approvals, citing investor protection concerns, which we all know is nothing more than FUD. All I know is this, as Mike McGlone of Bloomberg Intelligence predicted, once a Bitcoin ETF gets approved in the United States, it will be an absolute absolute game changer and there could be one approved as early as next month in October, which is right around the corner, which can send the Bitcoin price action absolutely parabolic to six figures. And Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, which is the largest exchange in the United States, has frequently criticized the SEC for their lack of regulatory clarity and unwillingness to cooperate in other crypto projects. Meanwhile, Canadian authorities have provided digital asset trading platforms with remarkably clear regulatory instructions. That's right. So if we don't get a Bitcoin ETF approved in the United States anytime soon, we will get left behind. It is what it is. And before I break down our final story of the day, Bitcoin overdue for a big phone rally according to crypto veteran Bobby Lee but first I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market this goes for all 930 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel also some very helpful resources for you to plug into including my daily letter which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day to subscribe visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net also have a blog I update daily which could be found at crypto news yes Com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to turn on all notifications and help me get to 50,000 subs. Of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes and Google Play. You can also follow me on Crypto Twitter. My Twitter handle is Crypto News. Yes. And of course, you can follow me on TikTok. 
Telegram, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me there. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Crypto veteran Bobby Lee says Bitcoin is overdue for a massive FOMO rally this market cycle. In a new interview with Bloomberg, the former CEO of China's biggest crypto exchange, BTCC, says that the timing of China's latest crackdown on crypto mirrors the 2017 market cycle shortly before Bitcoin rallied hard. Quoting him here, the timing of China's recent Bitcoin ban is reminiscent of what happened in 2017 when the crackdown came in early September. And of course, we knew the Bitcoin prices rallied to multi-year high at the end of 2017. And this year is no different that with the crackdown now announced, the bad news is now out of the way and the market is reacting, processing, and digesting the information. I am very bullish on Bitcoin, especially for an end of the year rally, a FOMO rally this year. So I expect Bitcoin prices to break out again in the next few weeks and months. Now, Lee, who accurately predicted Bitcoin plunging 50% once it reached around 70000 or so, says he expects Bitcoin to easily surpass $100,000 this cycle. He's also considering the idea of the king crypto reaching $200,000 before going on a euphoric, media-driven rally to further highs. Quoting him again, I think it'll easily go over $100,000. And then depending upon how sharp the rally is, it'll also likely even touch $200,000 or even go above that. And going above $200,000 is a huge milestone. So there'll be a lot of media coverage. And that's what leads to what is called a fear of missing out rally. I think that a FOMO rally for Bitcoin has been due for a long time now. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto veteran Bobby Lee. And to watch this entire interview between Bobby Lee and Bloomberg, check the show notes right down below this video. And also include an interview I did with the crypto veteran himself earlier in the year. And I'm gonna leave you with this meme because it's real talk regarding BTFD. You get used to it. I don't even see the dips anymore. All I see is 5% off, 10% off, 15% off, Real talk. And now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show is $40,000 Bitcoin, the new 10,000. Bitcoin holds $43,000 support as exchange Bitfinex halts trading. Also in today's show, I shared breaking news. Missouri's mayor has funded a project to give $1,000 in Bitcoin to every household. That's right. Also in today's show, Canada gets its first Bitcoin and Ethereum multi-crypto ETF. Also in today's show, we discuss Bitcoin overdue for a big FOMO rally, according to crypto veteran Bobby Lee. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Bitbud wrote, it is global distributed database with additions to the database by consent of the majority, quoting the great Satoshi Nakamoto. So there you have it. Love it, fams. I appreciate your continued support. The next featured comment comes from Lawrence Walker, who wrote, thank you for your consistency. You're so unrated, bro. You should have over a million subs by now. And thank you for giving Max his props. I'm a fan, bro. Be blessed. And I responded, much love, Lawrence. I appreciate you, fam. And the third and final featured comment of the day comes from Crypto Cal, who wrote, missed the live show today, but you know I always catch up as soon as. Thanks for your hard work and dedication, JV. Bring in the best BTC and crypto news roundup on YouTube. Smash that like button, CNA fam. I appreciate your support as always. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. Bitcoin is the glitch in the matrix. That's right. And if you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications and help me get to 50,000 subs. And real quick before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over $2 billion in transactions. Are you looking to trade buy or sell cryptocurrency or precious metals tax-free we well, can do that with a crypto IRA you can trade Bitcoin Ethereum Polkadot Chainlink as well as the top cryptocurrencies including gold and silver and as you can see here they are backed by Coinbase custody the world's leading institutional cold storage provider with a 320 million dollar insurance policy so you can have peace of mind knowing that your digital assets are backed safe and secure. To take advantage of this, use my referral link in the description right down below. And as a free bonus, you'll get your first month absolutely free. So click the link right down below and I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.